In scene three of The Glass Menagerie, Tom is again on the fire escape, narrating events in the weeks since Amanda presented her plan to find Laura a husband as a way to secure the family's financial future. She has been obsessed with the idea of gentlemen callers, and during the remainder of the winter and into early spring, Amanda has been soliciting her DAR friends for subscriptions to the Homemaker's Companion magazine, realizing that extra money would be needed to properly feather the nest and plume the bird. Tensions erupt when Amanda and Tom lose their tempers, resulting from her fixated pursuit. Tom is infuriated by his mother's intrusions into his life, her comments on the books he chooses, and monitoring his evening activities. She interrupts by correcting his tone of voice, his shouting, his vulgar language, and how his nighttime behavior endangers his job. She will not accept his explanation, which is that he just goes to the movies of how he spends his evenings. So he unleashes a long, fantastical, frustrated torrent about how he really lives a life of intrigue and heroic adventures, like how he's an assassin and he goes to opium dens and he's a czar of the underworld. He ends his tirade by calling Amanda an ugly, babbling old witch and throwing his coat across the room, which lands on his sister's figurines. Several glass animals crash to the floor and break into shards. Laura cries out as if wounded, and a shocked silence overtakes the family. In scene three, Tom can no longer contain his frustration at his mother's obsessive attempts to control his life. The stage directions indicate a typewriter and paper strewn around it, so it's safe to assume that Amanda has interrupted Tom's writing. Amanda has been trying in her own way to maintain the veneer of respectability and to earn extra money to finance her project, a husband for Laura. But after a prospective magazine subscriber hangs up on Amanda, her suppressed anger explodes. Ah. Vitriolic truths mm. explode from Amanda mm. and Tom's mouths. Tom rages ah. against his job and home life, and Amanda rages against her own with the added fear of Tom's deserting her, as her husband did. Midst the turmoil, the photograph of the absent Mr. Wingfield remains in its place, highly visible as a constant reminder of the past and potential void of the future. Ah! Tom's anger in throwing his coat and accidentally breaking some of Laura's glass animals is significant as it reflects the situation. Tom's sense of reality and need to break away from life inside the apartment. Not only is their relationship as fragile as the figurines, but the destructive emotions, often hidden away from each other by deceptions, are now as transparent as the glass that shapes the animals.